2023 is truly an explosive year for SpaceX. Many records have been broken like the number of Falcon 9 launches or the number of times this rocket's booster are reused. Many other important missions have also been performed, notably two Starship test flights. But we cannot forget to mention one of SpaceX's trump cards, Falcon Heavy. To date, 2023 has been the most active year for Falcon Heavy since its launch with four launches, and it will continue to deepen that record this coming December. Based on that, SpaceX will aim for important goals next year. In particular, they will plan to perform a task that no other company has done, landing all three boosters to reuse the entire first stage of this super heavy lift launch rocket. If successful, this feat will help Falcon Heavy continue to prove its capabilities as well as affirm the dominance of SpaceX's orbital fleet. So when will SpaceX perform that important goal? How will it affect SpaceX as well as the aerospace industry? Discuss everything about this in today's episode of TechMap. But before we begin, our team extends a warm welcome. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and enable notifications to stay up to date with the latest news from SpaceX and the world of space. With that in mind, let's jump straight into today's episode. Perhaps whenever we mention Falcon Heavy, we will be most impressed with its first flight that carried the Tesla Roadster and Starman into orbit. That debut flight officially opened an era of Falcon Heavy. After more than five years of operation, SpaceX has so far conducted eight Falcon Heavy missions. In particular, 2023 is considered the most active year for this rocket. That's because, after its third flight in June 2019, the Falcon Heavy was not working in more than three years. It was not until November 2022 that it launched its fourth mission. That flight marked a strong turning point to create a memorable 2023 for Falcon Heavy. Up to now, Falcon Heavy has launched four missions this year accounting for half of its total launches, including the U.S. Space Force mission, Viasat Satellite Launch Mission, Jupiter-3 Satellite Launch Mission, and Psyche Spacecraft Launch Mission. Next month, Falcon Heavy will launch its fifth mission this year, launching the X-37B space plane for the U.S. Space Force. Thus, the number of launches in 2023 of Falcon Heavy will be more than all previous years combined. Based on that basis, 2024 will continue to be a year when Falcon Heavy makes new progress. Currently, there are about three Falcon Heavy missions scheduled for next year. But SpaceX seems to want to create a special thing with one of those Falcon Heavy missions. Land and reuse all three boosters. This was revealed by John Edwards, Vice President of Falcon Launch Vehicles at SpaceX, in his tweet, Next few heavy missions all require us to expend the center core, but should have at least one mission next year where we recover it. Astrobotic Griffin The Griffin mission that John Edwards mentioned is currently scheduled for around November next year. On this mission, Falcon Heavy will launch Astrobotics Griffin Lunar Lander to carry NASA's Viper spacecraft to the lunar south pole. This spacecraft's task is to prospect for lunar resources, especially water ice, explore and map the distribution of resources in this area. This will be an important task that greatly supports Artemis missions taking place in the coming years. As for Falcon Heavy, the intention to land three boosters is truly a bold plan. SpaceX has successfully landed the two side boosters many times, but they encountered many difficulties with the attempts to land the core booster. They tried to do this on Falcon Heavy's first three flights, but failed or were not completely successful. The first attempt took place during the Falcon Heavy's debut flight in February 2018. However, it failed due to the chemical igniter running out, preventing two engines of the core booster from restarting. The landing failure caused damage to the nearby drone ship. The second failure took place on the third flight in June 2019. The failed landing was due to a lack of control when the booster's outer engine shut down. It is because the core booster suffered a thrust vector control failure in the center engine caused by a breach in the engine bay due to the extreme heat. On the second flight in April 2019, this attempt was almost a complete success. Core booster has successfully landed on the drone ship, but it then fell into the sea during the process of transit 
The resun is due to bad weather, and Ralph sees along with its design has not been fully completed, making it unable to be secured to the deck for recovery. Since then, Falcon Heavy flights have not attempted to land the core booster, but SpaceX's next effort has absolutely a basis for success. Over the years, SpaceX has upgraded its vehicles a lot, especially through the Falcon 9 flights. SpaceX has gathered a lot of experience in landing boosters on drone ships. Landing the Falcon Heavy core booster will be similar to what they usually do with the Falcon 9's booster, although it will be a bit more difficult since the core booster will return from a higher altitude. If Spasis can land the core booster on the drone ship along with the two side boosters on the landing pad, it would be a big stride for their Falcon Heavy project. Being able to land and reuse the entire first stage will further strengthen the cost optimization strategy they are applying, helping their project develop more strongly and sustainably. Once successful, this feat would have a strong impact on the aerospace industry, especially NASA, which often underestimates the Falcon Heavy when compared to their SLS. In fact, in terms of design, the SLS has some better figure statistics than the Falcon Heavy. With a maximum height of up to 111 meters and a diameter of 8.4 meters, NASA's rocket is bigger than the Falcon Heavy with a height of 70 meters and a diameter of 12 meters. The SLS Block 1 version can carry a payload of up to 95 tons to low Earth orbit and 27 tons to translunar injection, much larger than the Falcon Heavy with a payload of 63.8 tons to low Earth orbit and 26.7 tons to geostationary transfer orbit. But if based only on size and design to conclude that SLS is better than Falcon Heavy is completely wrong, in just over five years since launch, Falcon Heavy has launched eight missions with a 100% success rate. Meanwhile, after more than a decade of development, NASA created only one SLS rocket and performed a single launch on the Artemis mission last year. With just that one rocket, NASA has spent more than $11 billion and more on launch facilities and related issues. More importantly, SLS is not reusable. In contrast, Falcon Heavy is a typical representative of the reusable vehicles. With the landing of two side boosters, it helped SpaceX cut a lot of production costs. In particular, they also do it in an extremely difficult way, vertically landing. It is a technique that requires very high precision. Landing vertically and reusing is a challenge that many companies and organizations, including NASA, are struggling to research but have not been able to do. Applying this landing method on a drone ship is even more difficult, but SpaceX has made it become a normal thing. And now, SpaceX will push it to a higher level, landing and reusing Falcon Heavy's core boosters. If successful, Falcon Heavy will not only create a new stride for its cost optimization strategy, it will continue to assert its strength and potential in the aerospace industry. We still have to admit that the mission of these two rockets is much more different, so a direct comparison between them would not convincing. However, if we still need to give an evaluation, we can conclude that Falcon Heavy completely surpasses SLS in many aspects like launch times, cost, potential, and especially reusability. It's exciting to think about what SpaceX plans to do next year, including the Falcon Heavy plan. In 2024, we will witness many new records. After SpaceX plans to increase their total missions to 144, the Falcon 9 will continue to launch more to maintain its title of the most launched vehicle of the year. Starship Project will be promoted and expand its influence, especially after the great strides in the recent test flight. Along with these two vehicles, Falcon Heavy will also continue to operate more strongly to create new records and contribute to SpaceX's overall progress. Especially, we will look forward to the moment when Falcon Heavy's three boosters are landed and reused. Not only create strides for SpaceX, but that moment would become a symbol for the aerospace industry many years later. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification feature so you don't miss any space important updates. Your support is our driving force to continue delivering high quality content. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Seeing you.